What if I told you that the real AI revolution in India doesn't just need AI startups, but something way more old school, like more IITs? Look, we're living in an AI gold rush. Startups are popping up like never before. Investors are throwing in crores. And the government, they've pledged over 10,000 crore rupees for the India AI mission. But here's the twist. Some of the smartest minds in the business are saying, hold up, India doesn't need more AI startups right now. It needs more IITs. That sounds wild, right? Let's break it down for you. Building a successful AI product might take from 6 to 12 months, but building the underlying innovations like a truly original architectural breakthrough takes years and deep, patient and expensive research. It's why Meta's chief AI scientist Jan Lekun says that real breakthroughs come from 2 to 10 year efforts. Startups usually don't have that kind of a runway or appetite. And that's exactly what India is missing. A serious bench of foundational AI research. Look at China's DeepSeek. They went just beyond fine-tuning GPT-style models. They built an architecture that resulted in efficient model training and performance while needing very few GPUs as compared to how other models were built. And DeepSeek wasn't just popular because it was a homegrown model from China. It was because it truly performed well above the competition with relatively lesser price. And where did that innovation come from? Research. And in the US, you have universities like MIT, Stanford, UC Berkeley. They're practically research factories. They're not just chasing valuation, they're creating the science behind AI. Sure, we have brilliant faculty and talent at institutes like IIT Madras, IISC, IIT Delhi, Bombay and so on, but they stretch thin. Balraman Ravindran, who leads the Vadwani School of AI in IIT Madras, said that what India's research ecosystem needs today is more funding. So if you look at it, right? so we don't really have uh, uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. uh, any any university mm -hmm. that has enough funding right, mm -hmm. to do a scale of research like Shingwa does or yeah. like an MIT or a Berkeley mm -hmm. does. Right? Mm -hmm. so, For example, in 2023-24, to 24, IIT Madras received a funding of 584 crore rupees for various state-sponsored projects. This was in addition to the 513 crore rupees raised the same year from alumni, corporate partners and donors. It sounds great until you realize Chinese universities like the Tsinghua is playing with over 45,000 crore rupees. And what about MIT in the United States? It's working with nearly 16,000 crore rupees for research. And if we aspire to come even close to the scale of AI research at the US or China, we need to catch up. And volume is also a problem because India has just six engineering and technological universities in the world's top 100. The US has more than 20. So it's not just about talent or say even funding, it's also about volume. More IITs mean more researchers, more PhDs and more long-term innovation. And remember, this isn't just about copying the old IIT model and pasting it everywhere. It's about creating deep tech research hubs, ones that don't just teach engineering, but push AI frontiers, collaborate with global labs, and develop not just a homegrown model, but something that caters to solving the most important problems in the country. Of course, the government has taken several steps to begin with, be it providing GPUs at a subsidy, establishing research parks, and hubs across various institutes like the IITs. But these initiatives need to be more consistent and they must scale up. Sure, let's also not ignore the need to strengthen existing IITs with better infrastructure, better faculty pay, more compute power, and so on. But we can't solve a scale problem by just tinkering with a single campus. We need a network of these research hubs. So here's the deal. AI startups can build the apps and the products, but if but if India wants to build the algorithms and frameworks for the next generation of AI models, we need to invest in minds and not just MVPs. That means funding research and not just founders. It also means more IITs, more GPU clusters, and more importantly, we need more patience. Because the real AI superpowers of tomorrow, because the real AI superpowers of tomorrow, they'll be built in classrooms and labs and not just on pitch decks. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share and subscribe. But more importantly, think AI, think AIM.